Tesla, we always want to have the production car be better than the show car. The Tesla Cybertruck, which has already received one and a half million pre-orders, appears to have been left on Earth by an alien species. However, Hennessy also presents the Goliath 6x6 pickup, a rare monster in the pickup sector that no other automobile is equal to in power. The question then becomes, how will the Cybertruck compete with the likes of the Hennessy Goliath 6x6, which is a similarly capable vehicle that runs on gasoline? Well, luckily for you, we're gonna cover that in today's episode of Tesla Car World. We're glad to have you back on our broadcast, and as a gesture of appreciation, please subscribe and chime in before we get started, so you don't miss any of our future entertaining films. Let's go right into today's material. I think we're gonna have an incredible Cybertruck product for you next year. It's gonna blow your mind. The Tesla Cybertruck can compete with any pickup truck on the planet, including the Hennessy Goliath 6x6. Six-wheeled vehicles aren't novel, but they certainly stand out, and we've seen a few 6x6 variants of already excellent 4x4s throughout the years. The Hennessy Performance's F-150 Raptor-based Velociraptor 6x6 is just one example of the many F-150 Raptor-based 6x6s available. The Hennessy Goliath 6x6, based on the 2019-2020 Chevrolet Silverado, has been available to the public for some time now, and is a beast. So how much more does the Hennessy Goliath 6x6 cost over the Cybertruck? And is the Cybertruck as expensive as rumor has it? Pickup truck purchasers have only one thing to worry about, the pricing trend over the previous five years. The new Tesla Cybertruck with rear wheel drive and one engine is planned to retail for $39,900. The base price of a Cybertruck with two engines and all wheel drive is expected to be around $49,900, while the three engine model will go for around $69,000. Prices for Tesla vehicles are known to fluctuate midway through a model year, so it's possible that they'll go up before the Cybertruck is available for online buying again. In comparison, a new Chevy Silverado pickup is included in the Goliath 6x6's $375,000 starting price. That's less expensive than the first generation Ford-based Velociraptor 6x6 that debuted at the same time. Nonetheless, for this amount, you can get 15 Cybertrucks with a single motor, 7 with 2 motors, and 5 with 3. The owner of Wisconsin's largest potato field purchased the first Goliath 6x6, and that's a lot of spuds at $375,000 worth. So tell me again, what is the Goliath 6x6 and what do you get for your money? Well, first, let's discuss the strength and, and efficiency. Which one do you think will have more power, the Cybertruck or the Goliath 6x6? At full speed, the Cybertruck's motor efficiency is 98%, which is much higher than the standard efficiency of 96%. For this reason, Cybertruck and other future Tesla products have opted for IPM Sin RM motors. The tri-motor Cybertruck is capable of producing up to 805 horsepower at its peak. The greatest possible torque is predicted to be 1,033 pound-foot. Switching over to the Goliath 6x6, it may come with either a 6.2 liter L86 V8 or a 5.3 liter L83 V8. For an additional cost, Hennessy will install a 2.9 liter supercharger on top of the 6.2 liter engine, boosting output to 705 horsepower and 675 pound-foot of torque. That may seem amazing, but it's being used to move a vehicle that weighs as much as a small mountain. The Hennessy Goliath 6x6 is inferior to the Cybertruck by around 100 horsepower and 358 pound-foot of torque, despite having two extra wheels, making Cybertruck again unbeatable and constantly in first place. Everything else fails in comparison. This is the only one you need. But compared to other trucks in its class, how much more weight can Cybertruck haul? The standard Cybertruck with rear wheel drive can tow up to 7,500 pounds. The mid-range model with two motors can haul 10,000 pounds, and the top of the line model with three motors can haul 14,000 pounds. In comparison, it's likely that all Hennessy has done to the standard Silverado is bump up its trailering capability from 7,300 to 7,400 pounds making it around 6,600 pounds lighter than the Tri-Motor Cybertruck. When it finally goes into production, the Tri-Motor Cybertruck will be the strongest towing equipment available. That means it should have no trouble towing your boat, camper, or firewood trailer. 
Typically, it would be assumed that the pickup's heaviness would limit its performance. Therefore, the automobile industry's combination of quick and pickup trucks is quite the oxymoron. In any case, what's the maximum speed that each truck can achieve? Back when Tesla revealed its 2019 lineup, the Cybertruck with three motors was the most powerful vehicle on display. The tri-motor, which adds a second motor to the rear axle to match the front-mounted one, boosts peak speed by 10 miles per hour to 130 miles per hour and allows the vehicle to sprint from 0 to 60 in an incredible 2.9 seconds. That's so impressive that it makes even the fastest supercars look slow. The Cybertruck offers drivers thrilling experiences at high speeds. The Goliath's 0 to 60 mile per hour time will be around 4 seconds. After converting to 6x6, it still lags behind the Cybertruck by 1.1 seconds. Executive Chairman John Hennessy once remarked, These are incredibly special and unusual automobiles that make a great impression wherever our clients go, whether it's Rodeo Drive or the sand dunes of the Sahara Desert. Off-road capability is one of the pickup series' most notable features. How then do the Cybertruck and Goliath successfully navigate off-road terrain? The Cybertruck has a much greater ground clearance than experts recommended 8.8 .8 to 10.8 inches. The air suspension on all Cybertrucks is fully height adjustable, so the vehicle can sit as low as 4 inches off the ground or as high as 16 inches off the ground. So we're going to have a, 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 about a 16-inch clearance, um, and uh, you can adjust this on the fly. So it's adaptive damping and, and adaptive uh, ride, ride height. The 6x6 not only has higher ground clearance than a regular Silverado, but it also has an extra axle. The Cybertruck's high ground clearance makes it suitable for traversing various terrains without endangering the vehicle's undercarriage. The layout also plays a crucial role. But how does the Goliath's exterior differ compared to the Cybertruck? The Cybertruck features a sturdy exterior to ensure the safety of its passengers. Beginning with a bulletproof exterior, every component is intended for enhanced strength and longevity, from 304L stainless steel structural skin to Alon glass. The Goliath 6x6 still looks like a Silverado on the outside. It has a square profile, but its rounded edges and sculpted hood and imposing profile made up for the lack of curves. Instead of using a new material for the crucial parts of its full-size vehicle, Goliath has kept it with steel. Roll-formed, high-strength steel is used to construct the bed, while aluminum is used for the hood, doors, and tailgate. Meanwhile, stainless steel is used in the Cybertruck as well as the Mars-bound Starship, so these everyday materials can barely be compared to what Elon Musk utilizes. We've developed. We're going to be using the same alloy in, in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. Also, in the Cybertruck, the brake light is no longer just a skinny red LED strip. It also features two orange side lines, which has resulted in the black bar extending beneath the center strip. Moreover, on both sides of the license plate, there are two reverse lights. The Goliath 6x6's most striking design feature is its matte black grille. Also, Chevrolet's trademark badges have been removed from the grill and trunk, and Hennessy is now proudly displayed in block letters. A new set of bumpers, LED lights, and a roll bar are also installed by Hennessy. Speaking of designs, how about the tires? With a 0 to 60 time of 2.9 seconds for the tri motor Cybertruck, 35 inch wheels will need SUV tires rated W, Y, or Z. W and Y indicate that the tires are certified for speeds of at least 149 miles per hour, while Z indicates the tires are rated for speeds of at least 186 miles per hour. Elon Musk is known to employ Goodyear tires for his Cybertruck, which was the first to reach the moon. The Cybertruck has fantastic wheels with wheel covers that seamlessly match the style of the tires. He also plans to employ airless tires with this innovation. Tesla claims that you can drive over nails, potholes, and even the surface of Mars without damaging your tires. The Goliath, on the other hand, should perform admirably while traversing rough terrain. The tread's wide, deep grooves improve grip in wet conditions and reduce the likelihood of hydroplaning. It's hard to compare these two tires because each has its own set of benefits. You can almost say that it's the tires that make the truck, and in this case, the trucks are made into all-terrain monsters. But a truck ain't a truck without a bed. This, this will protect your cargo and secure it against uh, being, being stolen. 
The Cybertruck is a pickup truck that may be used as either a labor or passenger truck. All versions include a 78-inch bed that can fit a 4 by 8 feet piece of plywood, power outlets for 120 and 240 volts, and even house an air compressor. The Goliath's bed is made to order, and at 85.6 inches long, it's nearly 8 inches longer than that of the Cybertruck. Which brings us to the next question. When it comes to the interior, what makes the Goliath 6x6 so remarkable? Compared to the Goliath, the Cybertruck has a more aesthetically pleasing cabin. In the Cybertruck, you'll find a lot of room thanks to the work of a team led by Franz von Holthausen. There's plenty of room for the driver and up to five passengers inside thanks to the truck's well-designed bodywork. Despite the angular design, the leather seats give support and comfort. Like the rest of the interior, the seats have an oddly geometric shape, and the dashboard's faux marble finish makes it appear as if it was stolen from a Roman villa. The Goliath's cabin, on the other hand, is well equipped to provide a relaxing trip. Space and comfort are not issues on the inside. The Goliath can seat up to six passengers, depending on the configuration, with the regular cab variants accommodating three and the double cab and crew cab models accommodating five or six. The front bench seat and upholstery material are provided as standard. Now, let's talk about the availability of heated and cooled seats. These features can be selected for either the leather or the fabric upholstery. The chairs are comfortable, but the cooling fans, especially those in the lower cushion, are weak. Indeed, the cutting-edge technology found within a Tesla is the vehicle's greatest asset. So then, to what extent does Goliath's technology compares to Cybertruck? The Cybertruck's huge 17-inch touchscreen and yoke-shaped steering wheel are more instantly recognizable features as they are also available on the newest Tesla Model S Plaid and Model X Plaid. The user interface is intuitive, quick to respond, and provide access to the truck's climate settings, illumination, navigation, and entertainment options. The story of Goliath has more of a timeless quality. The Goliath has many high-tech features including a touchscreen infotainment system with features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth music streaming among many others. Now if you've been an avid viewer of Tesla Car World, you'll know that this next part is a very important aspect of any vehicle, safety. So, which one of the two pickups would be considered the safest? The Tesla Cybertruck will likely be the debut vehicle to have Tesla's upgraded FSD technology, which includes higher resolution cameras and a more potent FSD computer. Until 2019, Tesla used NVIDIA hardware, but with the release of version 3.0 hardware, the number of frames handled was multiplied by 21. On the other hand, Elon Musk has claimed for years that the development of a new microprocessor has been ongoing, meaning the next FSD version 11 has a unified tech stack that may be used for both urban and interstate travel. Hardware development will likely be the next frontier. In contrast, the Goliath is available with a wide variety of towing aids that simplify hauling a trailer and connecting it to the vehicle. Hitch guiding, hitch vision, automatic electric parking brake aid, and hitch area lights are all part of Goliath's advanced trailering package. Meanwhile, the trailer camera package has a set of side view cameras and a third camera port. In the modern sense of the word smart, Tesla's technology is superior in how well it communicates with other connected gadgets. Moving on to something interesting about the two vehicles is that they share the same identical braking technology. So where could I get the same sort of brakes? Tesla has significantly improved the Cybertruck's braking system with this latest upgrade. When it comes to braking systems, Tesla relies on Brembo. Brembo has stated that they would release a brand new kind of braking system back in 2019. This system would be completely different from any other braking system now available. The industry's elite has seriously considered Brembo's Sensify technology. Putting Sensify in your pickup's braking system will give you peace of mind like never before. And to assist in hauling up this monster, which is believed to weigh more than 3 tons, Brembo's were installed up front on the Goliath. But where do we stand with the guarantee and maintenance then exactly? A comprehensive warranty covers current Tesla models but does not extend to free service visits. 
The limited warranty can cover a total of four years or 50,000 miles. The warranty offered by Hennessy, on the other hand, is three years long and covers 36,000 miles. The Cybertruck's super strength and endurance result from thoughtful engineering and prioritized practicality without sacrificing performance. So in terms of cost, efficiency, and innovation, it's superior to the Goliath. Due to Tesla's dominance in the EV market, the Cybertruck has the potential to be a game changer. While its unconventional appearance might put off some buyers, it's perfect for those who value individuality and are in the market for a pickup. Let me know what you think about the Cybertruck going up against the Goliath, and which vehicle would you rate as the best and why. Otherwise, that does it for this episode. If you've made it this far, we can't thank you enough for watching today's episode and your continued interest in our channel. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on new and interesting content related to EVs and green technology. Once again, thank you so much, and until next time, please stay safe.